Hey guys, Pat1979 here. I just want to make a quick, funny video and also, uh, you know, a little bit more practical uh, for my Falcon Catch 100. If you guys didn't see what happened with my Catch 100, go back into my uh, worst kayak moment video uh, and just look at this one. I'm uh, close to a thousand views, so hopefully you guys can help me out and give me some thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on you know if you didn't like the video. So. But I, I, this is just to record my experience and this is going to be slash a funny video slash trying to find myself a, uh, a seating option for my uh, Pelican Catch 100. So uh, I'm just going to make this quick video guys and just showing you guys different seat option. Hopefully you guys will find that entertaining and also maybe you know if you guys want to see me on the water with these seats to see how, how they would perform. Well just let me know that in the comment and I'll try to make it happen. So. But for now, I'm just trying to look at some seats for my uh, Catch 100. So you, hopefully you guys will enjoy a little bit. So uh, I'll just show you guys some options uh, that I thought are funny and some other that I thought might be practical. I might not do too much talking when I'm in the kayak because of the distance with a shotgun mic. So you guys probably won't hear me that good. So uh, unless you're uh, with a big TV or something and you're just uh, watching with a... Uh, a little bit better sound system or uh, some ear pods or something so but right now let's uh, look at my catch 100 L let's look at some seat options all right guys all right guys option number one so the reclining zero gravity chair so hopefully uh, you guys can hear me good if I'm a little bit further away but the zero gravity chair is my first option for uh, that so let's see how it performs Alright guys, the zero gravity chair, what do you guys think? Is it, uh, you know, an option for my uh, Cat 100? Is it a contender? So you guys let me know which one you want me to try on the water and hopefully I can try to make it happen, so. That's the first option. Let's switch and see for the second option, guys. Alright guys, second option. Uh, this is just gonna be a uh, regular folding chair, so uh, your basic folding chair, oddly enough, the feet uh, fits in there for all the rest of the chairs that I'm going to show up. The only one that's a little sketchy is the zero gravity chair. But let's see for this one how it performs uh, versus the zero gravity chair. The zero gravity chair would just be, you know, that would just be crazy on the water. Yeah, you know what guys, this might really be a contender for uh, my next kayak seat for uh, my Pelican Catch. 
So the feet on a regular just like folding chair just fits almost perfectly in there. I mean, I wouldn't have to do much. Maybe put some anti-skid, uh, you know, a little piece of rubber that I got for my quadcopter uh, battery tray. So if I put that underneath the, 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 uh, underneath the feet, uh, this thing is going to be locked in there. It's not going to move. So, uh, But basically, uh, that might be a good option, guys. All right, next option. All right, guys, the next option is another type of uh, folding chair, but this one you can take apart and it's just really compact, fits in your cars nicely. So, But the only thing is that thing is a little bit more sketchy. So uh, let's see uh, how it performs on the kayak. Right, guys this thing is not bad actually uh, it just I don't know I feel like it wouldn't be that much secure but I could always use the strap on the bottom and just try to secure it down so uh, might be another option on the water I mean I could go try it out I wouldn't mind so uh, just another option on the water just to see uh, how it performs so uh, next option guys all right guys so next option is just your basic folding chair so uh, just a little folding chair that I have at home, so with some padding on it, so might be a little bit more comfortable uh, than just a regular uh, regular folding seat. So let's see how it does, and let's see how comfortable it is. Let's see how, how if you can paddle with it or, or stuff like that. So. You are sitting a little bit higher though. Yeah, a little bit more sketchy guys on this one so uh, center of gravity is just a little bit higher so something a little bit more to consider and think about uh, one good option though would be one of those um, uh, folding chairs but without any arms on them so uh, that might be something to think about I'm gonna have to uh, ask some friends if they don't have any of those so uh, but this one guys uh, right now uh, yeah, I would say it's a little itchy, so uh, put it down in the comments which one you want to tr see me try. So uh, I'm going to move on to the next one and we'll conclude this video, guys. This is the last one I have for you guys. Alright, guys, last but not least, a uh, little uh, trifold chair. So this is your basic stool just to sit on and this is just going to be more funny than anything else because I'm not going to bring down on the water, guys.
right guys so the stability on this thing is just not viable so uh it's just it's just a little sketchy so uh but this thing is not meant to be uh something like this this is just you know something to uh sit on on the ground and just take the take a load off so uh yeah so basic little folding chair from walmart uh trifle so put that there so hopefully you guys will find this video entertaining so uh which one did you like the best and which one would you like to see me try in the water so uh just leave it down in the comment below and uh, we'll see if we can make it happen so but uh there's a couple of options that i'm personally going to try out probably going to film it too just to see if it, it it would be viable in the water so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video you find that entertaining a little bit so if you did give it a thumbs up that's always appreciated and I'll catch you guys on the next one.